Your search for AI voices is over. No more robotic sounds, no more unrealistic voiceovers, only real, lifelike human voices for all of your projects. Get ready, because the future is here. Hey everyone, I'm Don from Wondershare Uniconverter, and the voice you just heard is completely generated by AI, to be more precise by the text-to-speech feature of the Uniconverter. I don't even think I need to explain all the aspects of video making where you can utilize AI voiceovers because it opens a brand new door to automating content creation. Instead, let's take a thorough look at the text-to-speech tool in the Uniconverter. We're gonna review some voices and see how to optimize it to its full capacity. However, before everything, if you don't have the Uniconverter yet, download it from videoconverter.wondershare.com. So when you open the Uniconverter, you will find the text-to-speech tool right on the home page. So simply click on it. This new window will open. On the right side here, you can write your text. And on the left side, you have the voice library. The voice library has two subfolders, if you want to call them that way. First, the audio type, and within each type, you have different tones, different emotions, and of course, with both male and female voices. You can listen to a sample audio for all of the voices to help you choose the one that fits your needs the most. Join our loyalty program and unlock a world of exclusive perks. Join our loyalty program and unlock a world of exclusive perks. Seize the day with a heart full of gratitude and optimism. All right, now let's talk about optimizing your voiceover. So when you insert a text here, the AI will read the text based on general linguistics. It will use commas, dots, question, and exclamation marks as they are supposed to be used. Another factor it will use is the AI voice's characteristics. How fast it is, what the emotion of it is, how the original actor spoke, their style, and so on. Okay, so let's pass a part of the poem The City in the Sea by Edgar Allan Poe and listen to what some of the voices will do. Simply click on Generate and after it processes it, you can listen to the generated audio before exporting. Yet if hope has flown away in a night or in a day, in a vision or in none, is it therefore the less gone? Yet if hope has flown away in a night or in a day, in a vision or in none, is it therefore the less gone? Yet if hope has flown away in a night or in a day, in a vision or in none, is it therefore the less gone? As you can have heard, apart from minor differences, all of them say this poem the same exact way. It's too fast. I mean, obviously, when it comes to poems or normal voiceovers or even just the way we speak, we don't entirely go by the rules of linguistics, emphasizing and so on. We stop to think, we dwell on words, and, and that's how our speech becomes real. Now, there is a trick you can do here to make it more real, and I'm gonna share it with you. You need to add breaks, and I'm not talking about spaces or enters, because the tool doesn't recognize those as breaks like you and I would. Instead, you need to use dots. So, look at this. I'll put three dots between the lines here, and let's listen to it now. Yet if hope has flown away in a night or in a day, in a vision or in none, is it therefore the less gone? Yet if hope has flown away in a night or in a day, in a vision or in none, is it therefore the less gone? It's much better, no? Then it's worth experimenting how many dots you put because some voices will actually take longer so you can increase the length of the break this way. Yet if hope has flown away in a night or in a day, in a vision or in none, is it therefore the less gone? Now let's try a normal sentence, that one that I just said before in the video. If we listen to it, it really isn't bad, but it's not really how I said it, for example, or how maybe you would say it, or how it's not 100% realistic. We stop to think, we dwell on words, and that's how our speech becomes real. We stop to think, we dwell on words, and that's how our speech becomes real. So let's try adding the dots and see if it gets better. We stop to think, we dwell on words, and that's how our speech becomes real. We stop to think, we dwell on words, and that's how our speech becomes real. Well, it is definitely much more realistic, no? So imagine what you can do with these AI voices. You have human-like voices, and with a little bit of work to your script, you can fine-tune voiceovers to sound 100% real. And I think that's crazy. <laughs> so I hope you found this video useful and that you use this tool for your work. And if so, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel.
Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.